guy. Uh, this is me killing the uh, last boss. Um, but this is going to be a different ending. I, on my normal playthrough, I chose to put the. Uh, you get a choice to put uh, a shard that you get, a rune, into to do three things with it. One, you can put in a weapon, which is what I decided to do the first time around, which meant that I sided with the uh, with the god. This time, I chose to put it in my armor, which I don't know what it's going to do. I guess that is what it's going to do. Harkin did use Adir's rune, but not as the god asked. He used it as his shield, not his weapon. Adir could not regain his former power. The world of man remained free. The power of magic helped Harkin defeat all manner of Rogar lords on his way to face Adir. Despite the markings on his face, he proved himself to be a compassionate man who showed mercy to the just and unjust alike. Harkin proved himself to be a warrior, not a scholar. The secrets of this world did not interest him. Hmm. Even when they were only an arm's reach away. I wonder if there's something that I missed with that. He chose not to interfere with the plans of others and turned a blind eye to Antanas's dark experiments. Thanks to Harkin, Yetka was able to reunite with her family. The crafter's crystal was returned to him. He went back to his dimensional travels and studying runes. Okay, so most of this is about the same. Harkin changed the fate of humanity by leaving them without a ruling power. Historians of the future will forever wonder what could have been if Harkin's choices had been different. Okay, so... Very little is different. They talk about some of my choices, I guess, with the scene that I was a, a warrior, not a scholar. I wonder if it's because I, I haven't found all of the scrolls uh, for all to get all the lore and stuff like that. So I wonder if that has something to do with it. Also, there were some, I guess you could call side quests that I never finished. Even though the game doesn't show any of the side quests to you, so you just kind of have to remember um, what you need to do. I would assume that if you had completed those things, the ending, they might make a, a, a different... They would mention something different about it. Um, that's it on this one. Now I'm going to go in a... Uh, do the other one we'll see how that looks okay well here we are about to kill the boss after having made the third option which was to give the rune away to that blacksmith guy so we'll see how this looks And so Harkin defied a god, 
he cast the rune aside and struck Antanas down using only his sword. And in the end, he cast that rune aside, restoring the forces of the world back into balance. Harkin found the balance even between the power of his sword and magic, using both means to defeat all manner of Rogar lords and man-made creatures. Despite the markings on his face, he proved himself to be a compassionate man who showed mercy to the just and unjust alike. Harkin proved himself to be a warrior, not a scholar. The secrets of this world did not interest him even when they were only an arm's reach away. He chose to turn a blind eye to Antanas' dark experiments. Thanks to Harkin, Yetka was able to reunite with her family. A lot of family, jeez. The crafter's crystal was returned to him. He went back to his dimension travels and studying the runes. Harkin sealed the fate of both realms for many years to come. Historians of the future will forever wonder what the world could have been if Harkin's choices had been different. Okay, so just very little different between both... Uh both ends uh, I guess all three ends this then concludes the last video that I'll do in the Lords of the Fallen had a lot of fun playing fun playing this game I hope you three people that watch this enjoyed it as well check out my channel for some other stuff gonna be doing a lot more now uh, Dragon Age Inquisition gonna be in the next few days take a, a look at binding of isaac going in blind on that we'll eventually try out the crew and um i don't know a bunch of other little things like rogue legacy probably spelunky and uh and we'll see what else thanks for watching bye